Now friends, let's try this interesting question. Let A be uh, such that x uh, such that x is a prime number and x is less than 30. The number of different rational numbers whose numerator and denominator belong to A is. That means we have to find out how many numbers are there where numerator and denominator are prime numbers, right? So first of all, how many prime numbers are there? I just write it over here from uh, like less than 30. So it's 2, 3, 4, I'm sorry, 2, 3, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 29, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In all, 10 prime numbers are there. Now, see we have two options. Since we have to find out different rational numbers, first of all, uh, what we do, we choose two different numbers from these and we arrange them in the position of numerator and denominator, right? Okay, uh, we cannot choose two same numbers because in, the, uh, in the, that particular case, the number will become one. If the numerator and denominator are same, the number will become one, right? So first case, what we do, we uh, select two numbers out of this 10 numbers. So it's 10 C2, right? Now, till here we have selected two numbers, right? Now these selected two numbers can be arranged in numerator and denominator, right? So we are two, we are having two ways to arrange them. So it's two, right? Now what is 10 C2? That is 10 into 9 by 2 into 2. So there are 90 ways of doing this right so in all 90 numbers we will be getting plus plus one more number will be getting that is one right if each prime number is divided by uh, the same number itself so we'll be getting one right so we will be getting 10 times one but we have to find out the different rational numbers so we'll be just calculating that as a single one right so 90 ways plus one that is in all we will be getting 91 different rational numbers right Examples are like 2 by 3, 3 by 2, right? If they are mutually arranged, 4 by, uh, I'm sorry, 5 by 7, 7 by 5, right? Similarly, 7 by 7, 11 by 11, something like that, right? So first of all, what we did do, uh, what we uh, uh, did, we selected two prime numbers out of 10 and arranged them in two factorial manner. So the numerator and denominator in all these cases, that means in 90 cases, the numerator and denominator are different because while we do, while we are doing 10 C2, two different numbers will be selected definitely, right? After that, we added one because we will be getting one also if I divide each number by the, uh, the number itself, right? So in all, 91 different rational numbers we will be getting, okay? So it's really an important and uh, an interesting problem. I hope you are clear with the concept. Now friends, further we have an interesting problem. Let A be the set of four digit numbers A1, A2, A3, A4, where A1 is greater than A2, that is greater than A3, and that is greater than uh, A4. Then NA is equal to, that means we have to find out the total number of four digit numbers when the digits, all the digits are in descending order, right? So pretty easy question, but interesting as well. Uh, see, we have total 10 choices of the digits, right, from 0 to 9. Now, from these 10 digits, we have to select 4 digits so we can make 4 digit numbers, right? So, we will select it 4. Now, what? See, we selected 4. Definitely, the 4 digits uh, will be different from each other, right? Maybe whatever the digits are, but they will be different from each other, right? Because we are selecting 4 different digits. Now, if we are having four different digits, so there will be a single way of arranging them in descending order. Just single way, isn't it? Suppose we selected 2, 3, 0, 1, right? Now there is a single way that we can arrange the numbers in descending order. Now what's that way? 3, 2, 1, 0, right? So we selected the four numbers out of the four digits out of this 10 digits and we arranged them in descending order in just one way, right? So this is uh, the like uh, our answer is like this is the whole concept is, right? So 10C4 that is 
टेन इंटू नाइन इंटू एट इंटू सेवन बाय फोर फैक्टोरियल दैट इज फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन फोर टू जार एट थ्री थ्री जार नाइन सो थ्री सेवन जार ट्वेंटी वन इंटू टेन टोटल टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन नंबर्स विल बी देयर ऑफ फोर डिजिट्स इन ऑल ऑफ दीज नंबर्स द डिजिट्स विल बी अरेंज इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर राइट सो वॉट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ओवर यर यू सेलेक्टेड द फोर डिजिट्स बट देर इज अ सिंगल वे ऑफ अरेंजमेंट ऑफ ऑल द फोर नंबर्स इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर राइट सो आई होप यू आर Now friends, let's see this problem. Ten persons are arranged in a row. The number of ways of selecting four persons so that two persons sitting next to each other are selected. No two persons sitting next to each other are selected. So what we do is uh, we arrange the six people: one, two, three, four, five, and six. Right? Now we have to select the remaining four people from these positions. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So if we select the persons from these position, that is this, this, and this, uh, this position positions, so the person will not be next to each other. Right. So how many positions do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven positions, and we have to select four positions uh, since. we want uh, to select four persons only so it's 7 c4 ways right now we just have to select we don't have to arrange so we won't go for any sort of any other calculation right so 7 c4 is what 7 c3 and that's 7 into 6 into 5 by 3 factorial that is 6 so in all there are 35 ways of doing this right i hope you are clear